I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains, rabid and ravenous. He bites and bites away. Men of the North! You stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes. Their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the God's whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain. Wounded and tired, Ciri collapsed in the swamp. Peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad.
where you've been following me. Just wondering what you want from him, from Graham. Me? Didn't want nothing. It's his mother be worried about him. Been locked in his hut since he came back from the aisle. Thoughts to know so. Love's misery curdled his brains, I reckon. I want to talk. You death, damn it! I told you. Who are you? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me since I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! Twas then she drank the poison. Mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower, hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I don't remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. That means... Is she... You said you spoke to her. Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was alive the whole time. But... I can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged her, open your eyes. I never thought... It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing, and you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I'd have noticed she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I'd take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there, in the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden. A powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. God, she hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes, go to the tower, talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never have left her there otherwise. 
A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told you. I said I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go to the tower. Impossible. We could have been together, and now she's dead. And it's my fault. If only I'd been able to protect her. Can't change the past, but you can still help Annabelle to move on, to rest in peace. It's terrifying here. It's too quiet. Chop, chop. Speed up. Let's get this over with. I remember the screams. Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. They're dead. All dead. Don't think about that. Keep walking. You've returned for me. Is... is... is that... <sighs> it's me, Annabelle. The one you abandoned, remember? I... I was sure you was dead. If I'd known otherwise, I'd never have left you. I'd do anything for you, I would you. You know that well, believe me, I beg you. Prove it. Kiss me. Graham, careful.
At last. The curse is lifted, and Graham and Annabella are reunited. Run, Roach. Just when I was starting to miss you. Fike Isle's free of its curse. Able to persuade Graham to go to the tower with you? Did you mention there was a pastor involved? He knew the risks, but he'd also heard lots of stories about true love, whose kiss can break any spell. Can't help thinking that gave him courage. And? It ended well? Depends how you look at it. Curse is lifted. Annabelle's spirit is left in peace, but Graham's dead. Oh, poor boy. Still, he's proved that true love may be more common than some suppose.
One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Blackbow. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so. See you, Kira. Ask a service of the Witcher, the Palamost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh, with rites to conduct, wandering souls to emerge, damned souls too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free, this the Pella knows. Not to fear, how to reward one for their aid, this too the Pella knows. Seems like you could use a Witcher. So yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse. The Pell on you. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey to Fike Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight.
heard of the Dry Head Brigade? Come on, Roach. Let's go. Fresh corpse. Must have come here a while after the nobleman's death. Wonder what killed them. Doesn't look like the work of necrophages. I'll be back.
Greetings. Just in time. Good folk, behold the one who will protect us. You needn't fear. Soon shall we summon the wandering souls. Beyond all help, some will be. From these, you must protect us. Evil creatures keep at bay. Keep at bay till the ritual's done. Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. What is this life? Well, you know. What comes next once life subsides? Mind is all fate decides. Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Each will say by what they are hurried. Will ye grant these souls reprieve? And storm We're prepared to end their grief. Let's begin Forefather's Eve. Ye who wander on the gale, ever fall to this world's thrall, see this sign, gentle, pale. Ye who summon, ye who call. Ye who summon, ye who call. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. Something whispers, something thinks, someone will A sound I hear, tis right, a spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher, spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak, this time is yours, tell us of your ghostly woes. upon you the light of the eternal fire. Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy. Help me! Leave now. 
You're disrupting the ritual. This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take him and disperse the others. Good folk, leave not these grounds. Ye cannot break the circle. Too late to surrender. Oh, it is an ill turn, ill, woe away. Blood has stained the hallowed ground. How's it going? Yet we cannot stop what has begun. The bloodshed, it do any harm? Tainted lies the circle now. They who thirst for the gore of men shall come. God's willing, they will be few, and the Pella shall finish the right. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. All is quiet, all is Something whispers, something peeps. Someone near our fire creeps. All is quiet, all is gloom. Great! This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves. If your lives you value, run! Alas, all is lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual. That spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back, likely to keep his word. Old man Ambros, the Pella fears not. That wraith called you a patricide. He get it right? Aye. If I'm gonna help you, I gotta know everything. Why'd you kill your father? The Pella does not wish to speak of this. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid, that's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. Listen, I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambrose lies in the swamp. Fine. I'll find his body, see what I can do. 